get the old Glover Roos. This is going to be a little bit of a special session, okay? And that's because we've actually changed a few things about the stream. It's going to look very similar. There's a different logo at the top. Hey, look at that. Um, but we're actually changing some of the mechanics of what's actually under the hood. And that may mean music's currently too loud. Uh, because I've actually done away with chatbots and we're working on chat cloud now. Something like that. Uh, cloud chat, whatever it's called. So we're actually cheating out software and doing that is going to have potential repercussions. Something doesn't work, etc. But it's all for the best. We're taking the channel in a great direction. We're pushing it forward. There's going to be a lot of that that we're going to talk about today. And because of that, I actually don't know how much mapping we're going to get done. Um, Box Office Jack, if you can, can you please confirm my audio level and the audio level of the music that is playing in the background there? It's gone quiet now. But if you could confirm, that would be fantastic. Because I'm not using Chatbot to actually stream music now. I'm just actually going to Harris Heller's um, Stream Beats. And right now it's off YouTube, but eventually I'll start playing it off Spotify or something like that. And we'll go from there. All right, so different tools, different things we're working on. I think at some point today we're going to talk about my stream setup because someone asked me about it in yesterday's stream. And to do that, um, you know, uh, I'm going to wait obviously until he's here, until he's with us. But um, let me actually just get the uh, list up here for us. Where am I? Where's my channel? So there are, there are a few things that we're actually going to talk about today. And one of them is going to be my stream setup, hardware and software. The other is, I think, the improvements that we're making to the channel. So because it's going to be a little bit of talking and maybe even some new games, um, I think today might be a little bit disruptive as we're sort of getting to grips with all of that. You might have also noticed I've got a completely different map going on over here, okay? I acknowledge that. Yeah, the music has gone a little quiet, so it may be that I just have to throttle it back a little bit more. Um, so why am I drawing a blue map in the background? Well, it is actually one of those things for my beloved Patreons and Twitch subscribers. Because of you, this channel is just getting better and better and better all of the time. We were able to take your generosity and put it straight back into hardware and software to make things even better. So for everyone on the screen right now, thank you. I love you. You're awesome, awesome, awesome peeps. And one of the things that they're actually gonna get um, at a certain backing level is an old school never ending dungeon and this is level one and every month i'm going to draw the next level and i don't know where this thing is going to go but this is the start of it it's looking pretty good and just before the stream i was trying to dial in a couple of the colors etc that i wanted to add on it colors textures um and i was actually working on this rock here so I'm actually going to finish that. At the beginning of the stream, I'm going to finish what I was doing. And again, this map is going to be available to my Patreons and Twitch supporters of a particular sort of backing level. Sunday. This is level one of Alyssa's never-ending dungeon. So, um... Let's... Let's get into this, shall we? Let's get rid of software we don't need in the background. Super cool. I don't even know what's going on in the background there, but I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. I missed that click. 
and again. There we go. I think the smaller rocks will just get in there and we'll do them by hand, you know. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I think we'll do something like that. And that's that's a weird one. Play all, and it's just like ended. Can we have a select? Can we can we do another one? Yeah. Could you imagine finding? Yeah. One that, that, said, no, where... that's not. They said that's not working. Come on, come on, Havisella. Stream beats, Havisella. Come on. Can we do this one? There we go. Alright. Tell me how that's going on volume-wise. That's a good one, actually, for B. Coloring next to. There we go. Pex. You should be able to hear something, Pex, but now remember, chatbot normally played the music. So, where's the music coming from? I've got the same music playing in YouTube right now. And it's royalty free, by the way. I mean, it is royalty free. We're not doing anything wrong here. But, 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 I am actually going to get myself signed up with Spotify. I was actually just running out of time at the end. And I uh, couldn't do it. But uh, Harris Heller, who supplies all of this royalty-free music, yeah, he's a freaking angel, he is. Um, he has his full library on Spotify, so I actually want to get on there. And he has all of his music sort of broken out by type. So ultimately, I think Spotify playing in the background is what we're going to do. This map is looking pretty good. I was just telling everyone that it's basically available on Sunday to all of our Patreons and Twitch subscribers at the correct level. Drop it by 25%. Okay, we could try that. Um, let's try this one. Just dropped it a nudge. See, you'll recognize this one, Pex. I know you'll recognize this one. Hey! Green Lootoon! I was literally hoping you would be here. So... We... I'm going to summarize this. A lot has changed about the stream over the last 24 hours, certainly today, and will be refined probably for the next week. We had two currency types in the channel last night. It was a little confusing. It might have been last night and the night before. Twitch currency and the channel currency, and the channel currency is a plugin to stream OBS. They don't talk to each other. So... You have all been earning channel currency, then Twitch suddenly turns on their currency a few months ago, and now you're also earning that. 
and they retroactively assigned all of the gold, which has meant that actually a few of you had like 150,000, 125,000, 100,000 Twitch currency. And it was breaking the economy because there's been nothing to actually spend the points on for the last 18 months. So Pex and I sat down today and we've redone the currency system. You haven't lost any gold, but we're not going to use Twitch currency. We're going to talk about that today. That's going to be a segment of the show. But meanwhile, GL, you asked me last night about my Twitch setup. And you paid Twitch currency for it. So I'm going to answer that question, okay? Because I know you actually genuinely have an interest in it. So I'm actually going to use the first part of this show talking about my Twitch setup. And then, honestly, if we have a YouTube editor, maybe we can even split this video up a little bit. And we'll do the mapping segment later. We're going to do the Twitch setup now. And this is one reason why I was finishing off the map that you can see on the screen here. This is what Patreons are going to get, um, assuming the correct backing level, on Sunday. Level 1 of the Endless Dungeon. And then we're going to talk about the games and the rewards that you can actually spend your currency on because Pex overhauled everything today, okay? So I think this is going to be a big talking day. So I'm going to just close down this mega dungeon here. I think it's looking pretty good in an old school kind of way. I'm, I'm liking the way it's going. Quite a bit. And I'm trying to add that little twist of Alyssa Faden, you know? That little extra detail that they wouldn't add on the old school maps. I think it's looking the part, and I don't know if we have that much more to do on it. So, I'm going to shut that down. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers. We'll come back to the Castle Keeper's Guide later, okay? Assuming that we have time. If we don't, we'll be here tomorrow with it. So, GL, I'm going to talk about my hardware real quick. Okay, and then I'm going to talk about my software and it's probably the software that you have most interest in. If you have any specific questions, please let me know because you paid for me to give you this answer. Okay, so hardware wise, my little corner of the room is set up just like you could see on this screen here. And what we're looking at what we're looking at is a goopy face up here. This is my tablet that lies flat. This is what I map on. I'll show you that in a, uh, a prostrate position here shortly. Prostrate? Prostate. Prostrate. Lying flat. Um, this is my mic. My mic is a um, HyperX, I believe, uh, mic. I really, really, really love this thing. I did have, used to have it mounted on an arm. Um, but this is, I mean, I'm over here. This is over here, and it, I think it, it picks up real well. And I've not even dicked about with, like, the sound quality yet. This is my main sort of monitor. I typically have all of my other software that, while I'm streaming, running on this monitor over here. So when you're talking back to me, I can see it over here. So I've got, like, this two-monitor system going on. If I had one monitor, I and I'll show you the software in a moment, I would have to be watching the chat watching other things going on and be building a map all on the same monitor at the same time and i think that would get chaotic okay so i have a two monitor system and i think you need something like that um yeah and i'm pretty sure it wasn't prostrate yeah but, so now i also have two cameras i have a camera here and i have a camera behind this monitor and we're going to show you it. You can just see the cable coming down okay Headphones, you can see, and computer, the doi. Uh, some people do two monitor, uh, two computers to actually, you know, but they're typically doing like game streaming and it's a little bit more sort of resource intensive. This actually is not. My machine is actually pretty robust. This is just the shit that's behind me, okay? Um, yeah, you can just about see it. So that, that's, I just took a photo of that for shits and giggles. Main monitor and a side camera. I don't tend to use this during the streams, 
But there is an option for you to get me to switch that. I think one camera is what you need for actual streaming. If you don't, by the way, intend to be in front of the camera, you don't need to worry about it, okay? You can literally stream without a camera. There's nothing wrong with that. This is my secondary camera. This is the one that's behind my monitor that lies flat. So when I lie it flat, this camera is what you are seeing me on right now. Again, you can stream without one. I like this one. It's a it's a it's like a Razer Kyo, Kyo, K-I-Y-O. It's one of my favorite cameras that I've ever got, to be honest with you. It comes in with a built-in light, comes in with built-in options for sort of changing sort of the, is it cold, is it warm, and that type of thing, the general sort of brightness. I love this camera. Razer Kyo, Kyo, you get the idea. All right, this is my monitor lying flat. I don't think anyone's ever seen the side view of it before now. This stand, by the way, this is a whack on, right? And this stand alone was something ridiculous like $500. I kid you not. Not essential for streaming. Just wanted to show you basically what I draw on. Kind of a nice view. You know, you get a, a general sort of idea of how things are laid out. Now, this is what it looks like from above. We've got some wall markings here, by the way, that I'm going to have to paint at some point, only because I used to put something behind here to stop cats getting to the cables and shit before I clean them all up. So ignore the wall. Um, but you can see I've got my um, mic over here. This is the camera that you're seeing me on right now. This is my Wacom 24-inch HD Touch. These are expensive, but if I replace this, I will probably go with a Huon. Okay, it's Huon 24. The Huon 24 is $900, something like that. This is $23, $2,500. There is literally a $1,500 price difference between the two. But in all fairness, this uh, handles it like a boss. This thing's about 10 years old and it's still going pretty darn strong. So it is, it is value for money. I mean, it is. But if I replace it, I'm not getting another whack on. If I replace it, I will do a review for you all so you can actually see like the, the, the next iteration and I'll sort of I'll talk about the next one that we get. All right. This doesn't glow in the dark, but um my my computer does. All right. Let, let's let's get over here. I've just shut down some of the older pictures over here. Okay, so finally, just a close-up of the HyperX uh, mic that I use. I'm not sure what they're retailing for nowadays, and I think they actually came out with another version recently. I've been really happy with it. You can tap it on the top and it mutes. And I think uh, the, the spit guard was extra because I figured it might help with something, I don't know. But you could also set it to be directional in where it's picking sound up from. Is it picking sound up from here? I have it pointing basically just at me right now. Or is it 360 degrees? And you have several options for that. So this is, uh, I like this mic. I like this mic quite a bit. So that's the hardware that I'm using when I'm mapping, okay? Now, software, software. You can, in theory, I believe, fire up Twitch and go. But what you don't get is you're not going to get this frame that's around me. You're not going to get the little tip jar. You're not going to see the events going on up there. You're not going to see the little logo that's up there. And all of that is because there is software putting that into my stream before it sends it to Twitch, okay? And there's lots of different types of software out there where you can get, basically, you build, I'm gonna call it your streaming canvas. You don't need to do this. I know Twitch streamers that just stream their main monitor and they draw on it and they talk. You don't see them. You don't see any gizmos or anything. You could do that and you're good to go. I went one notch up. I'm not even that complex. I went one notch up, okay? The software I'm using is something that's called, and I've got to be careful because we've got chat here. This is 
and it look, it look, it's cascading backwards here. This is Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS. It's not that expensive, okay? With this software, I can basically build an interface that is the logo. I just drop a picture on there. I can drop a widget to say, uh, show the last sort of uh, series of events that have taken place or donations that have taken place. This, I could say, I want a source to be this camera, or I want the source to be this camera. And then there's an image overlaid on the top and an image over the top of that, which is my name. And then there's a widget for the tip jar. This in the background, I basically tell Stream OBS I want a source that is my drawing monitor. And that's it. Right there. I lay these things on the top. And then Stream OBS, I could say, Hawk, I want to stream to YouTube. I want to stream to Facebook. And it will stream everything as I've laid it out here to those locations. Twitch is one of them. If you have a Twitch account, you can tell Stream OBS, connect to my Twitch account. You give it control over your Twitch account. Then you hit the button, go live. It then pushes to Twitch. So if you want to get a little bit fancy, if you want to throw a logo or something in the corner, if you want to you know, have control over what it's sort of streaming, and potentially change it or throw a widget on the top or game, whatever it is, I personally use Stream OBS. What's the difference between the free version of OBS and the paid version? Typically features, okay? Um, you could totally start with the free one. And what I found is you have a, a limit of like the number of widgets that you have access to, the number of themes that you have access to, because you could actually get frames and backgrounds and buttons that all fit a certain theme. But... Not so much with the free version, right? And the, the volume of widgets that you're going to have available to you will also be limited. But you could start with free to get going, okay? Um, for sure. Because I actually accidentally signed in with the wrong account literally half an hour before the stream. So I saw what I was going to get on the free version. Then I was like, wait, this is wrong. Um, but the, the actual full version, I think, is only about $15 a month or something like that. So it's not it's not bank breaking it's really not too bad and it's pretty intuitive it, it, there, there, there's some concepts like you know to, to get going where you're going what am i doing now but once you get those concepts you're golden for me honestly i got on a uh, zoom call with cake geek actually and he walked me through some concepts and now, and now I can actually, I could switch stream types. You can actually set up multiple stream compilations. And now I have one that has six other videos on there. And they're like coming in from Zoom so I can play games and stream that game. That's what you saw the other day. Um, I've got one that gets rid of all of this, all the doohickory, you know, and just allows just the main monitor. I have, now I can turn on and off the whole Jack collection that's over there, you know. And so Stream OBS gives me a lot of control that way. And I'm not even scratching the surface. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. And if you got the free one just to get going, I mean, it, it, you would be able to learn everything you need to learn. And go, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm digging this. And then throw down money for it. And it just, it just unlocks the other features. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you then is... What do I want? If you then want to take it to the next level and you don't have to do this, if you want to have channel rewards, if you're like you want your, uh, your people hanging out with you to be able to play games or earn channel currency and then spend that channel currency on something. Well, then there are plugins for stream uh, OBS, okay? And we today, Pex and I, set up something called chat cloud cloud chat pex help me out here what was what was it called in fact i know it cloud bot cloud bot i'm an idiot cloud bot but you'll see that as an option to enable and then cloud bot enables all of those little interactive things which is one of the things we're going to talk about on the stream today 
Um, but you don't need to launch with that. I did, because I tend to just go all in. That's my nature. I'm, I'm ridiculous, you know. Um, but, like, just bite-sized pieces. So, in theory, in theory, you could get the free version of Stream OBS. Just, you know, and you don't even need a camera if you don't want to be on camera. Get a mic at least. I don't like streams where they don't talk. Okay, I, I'm less of a fan of that. Uh, it's one thing if you're looking at someone playing a game, but if they're doing art, I think there should be something going on. And typing isn't enough, in my humble opinion. So, I would encourage at least a mic. You get Stream OBS. You set it up how you want. Um, you don't even need the tip jar. You don't need the event thing. You, do, you don't need to sign up for all of the little events. Someone subscribes. Someone's followed. Uh, there's a lot of those <coughs> that come out of the box. You can customize them later you know when when you're on street um cave geeks page and he's got like the little caveman he customized that he has a little animation right you could do that to Streamlabs obs afterwards afterwards and there's some things you can do directly in twitch okay so in fact i think that's one of them so just start simple my friend um uh, do you have any questions for me I mean, I wanted to make sure I answered your question from last night. Even though this is making for a very different stream than we would normally do. I'm okay with this. So, do you have any questions for me? Because if you don't, we're going to go to the redeeming section next. Okay, let's let's do it, shall we? So this this is now available for all of our Twitch participants. If you watch the stream every five minutes, you earn a channel gold. If you participate in the chat, you earn two more on top of that. That means three gold per five minutes if you follow the channel you get 100 gold if you subscribe i believe you get 250 gold if you host the channel and by the way all of you can be hosting this literally you could go to your own channel type forward slash host space Alyssa faden you're now hosting me you get like another 250 gold for doing that okay if you raid with me at the end of a stream like one of those times where i'm like Stick around. We're going to go on a raid. You get... I, I think it's like another 250. That means that theoretically, every time that you sit and watch, if you even just type something into chat, if you follow, if you subscribe, if you participate on a raid, you stand to get an e easily 250, 500, 750 gold each evening that we're hanging out together. Okay, but if you sit and you just lurk in the background, well, you're still going to get about 30 to 50 gold just for lurking. And I like you lurkers too. I appreciate you hanging out. And I mean that. One of, uh, one of you actually, there's, a, there's someone out there that has one of the most hours viewed of this channel ever. And he's never participated in chat. And I'm okay with that. So just watching the channel, participating in chat, following me, following me into a raid. These are good ways that you earn channel currency. What does all of this mean? You can now spend this channel currency that you've been hoarding. Now, I think exclamation gold should still work. If you type exclamation gold, it should tell you how much currency you've earned. I'm logged in as me. I've got 1,821. If you have any doubts, you could also come to this page. It is elizabethaden.com forward slash cloudbot. And occasionally, every 10 minutes, you get a prompt for that in the chat so you can't forget okay log in as twitch you will get this option right here and it will give you how much gold you've actually earned to date pex and i also have the ability to give you more gold so be nice to us Uh, yeah, points equals gold. I'm not sure this label changes. 
The channel currency is gold. We can set that. But I think... I don't think that this page changes that dynamically. So it's just the way the page behaves. Um, Actually, Mullen's Girl, thank you for testing that out. Pex, the gold command is not working, I don't think. There, look, it's 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 calling it points. You have to do exclamation points. We're gonna have to check on that, Pex. And actually, look at this. So this is from earlier in the day, by the way. I had 1,800. Now I've got 1,600. That's because I was testing some things on here. So now I'm po. Uh, but seriously. Let's talk about for a moment what you can spend this chan channel currency on. By the way, there are still games and everything in the channel. We've had to prune back some of them, but things like the heist and everything else, they're still in there, okay? We may have to do some fine tuning because we've gone from chatbot to cloudbot, but bear with us, we'll dial everything in, help us with this, and I mean this, Pex and I will give you some gold just for helping out, okay? So your patience would be truly appreciated. So what can you do with this gold? Well, let, let's go through this because there's quite a few options and obviously you're gonna be able to go through this at your leisure. Note there, there are some restrictions about how often each of these can be done. Otherwise, every single stream is gonna be extremely disrupted. But I'm gonna go through these real quick. Question time, if you do this, I have two books here. These books, 3,000 what if questions, 3,000 questions about my future. You hit that one, it's only 50 points. You call out a number between one and 3,000. Number 1,837. What if you could travel the world, all expenses paid, but you had to travel with a stranger? Would you go? That's the type of thing. So if you do this one, you then type a number into the chat and we're going to put, uh, tell me which book we're going to do. We'll look at one of them and I'll answer it. Okay, I'll answer it truthfully. We'll have a nice little sort of dialogue about it. Two truths and a lie. Similar, 150 points. I will tell you two truths about me and I will throw in a lie. You're going to get three things. You could decide which one's the lie and it may befuddle you. Dab. There's a free one. I, I, I actually... I've never dabbed before, so um, I'll have to practice that one. And then we've got a map request. So uh, you all know that a lot of the time you can throw out map requests at me and I add them. Cabin in the woods, done. Avery, done. There are some more outlandish ones. So if you really want to get your ski ball machine into this map somehow, Throw down a thousand points, I'll try and figure out how to do it. Now, if you're going to sit there and say, draw my man junk, I'm probably not going to do it. I'll refund the money. This one. All right. So this one. I have, courtesy of Pex, Five boxes of various candy beans, plus I have some Japanese strange candy, plus I have some Mexican strange candy. But I want to give you an example. You hit the bean boozled, I'm going to eat one of these random candies. What does this mean? Well, let me give you an idea. Rotten egg, stink bug, or buttered popcorn, canned dog food, toothpaste, spoiled milk, or juicy pear, or a booger, or strawberry banana smoothie, or a dead fish. The, this is five boxes. We are going to be mixing them all. I will be pulling randomly and just to give you an idea, this box is all bad. This box is literally 
the spoiled milk, the dead fish, the boogers, the stinky socks. This entire box is. This box is all extremely hot. Sriracha, Jalapeno, Cayenne, Habanero, Carolina Reaper. We are going to mix all of those candies into one container. And if you hit the bean boozled, I'm going to eat one. Whatever it is, I'll do it on camera. And I hate Pex for doing that to me. Then we've got bragging rights, okay? Bragging rights, not me flexing, although I'll flex any time. Any time. Bragging rights is actually you pull up your gold, and I'm going to brag on your behalf about how awesome you are and how much gold you've managed to accrue because you are an awesome human being. Just 40 points for that one. Social time. If you want me to follow you, um... Or anyone else, I guess, for that matter. On Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. I mean, I do with a lot of you anyway. But if you specifically want me to follow you, throw that in. I'm going to follow you. And I'll keep following you, okay? Compliments. This is a nice one. This is a feel-good factor. 30 points. I will give you a genuine compliment, okay? Map fact. Um... Random map uh, fact about the project we're working on, a similar project, or another project, or just maps in general. Okay, just 30 points. Random map fact. That one will put me on the spot, I dare say. Pet Snack. 300 points because he's really an undeserving little shit. But if you throw down 300 points, I'll give the little shit a treat, okay? He loves his treats. Snack Grab. Feed me. Throw down 100 points. I guess I'll go off and I'll try and find some food and I will eat. Even if I'm full, we'll eat. Raid. If you have someone specific you want me to raid. Uh, and sometimes, by the way, you know, we have this close circle of friends that we raid a lot. You know, you've seen us, we bounce around. I have no problem raiding these people. But sometimes complete strangers are doing something completely different than what we're doing here. And I don't really want to raid them. Doesn't matter. If you want me to raid them, and this channel's going to grow. We'll raid them, okay? That's no problem. So that's a good one for the future. This one, Jack Facts. Want to know a random fact about Jack? If Jack, by the way, doesn't know about this one. I will give you a random fact about Jack. I might have to think about it a little bit. But yes, I'll give you a random fact about Jack. There'll be nothing embarrassing for him here. Secret Surprise. Uh, this one I didn't really know what to do with. But Pex is just having... I tell you a surprise about something. It could be anything, something even random, but it has to be true. Steal someone's VIP. We don't have that many VIPs in the channel. We'll probably reward some more over time. This will allow you to steal it off them. VIPs get some extra points, I think, and extra benefits. Story time. I will sit here and tell you a story for five to ten minutes. That is a true story. Limited to one per stream, but this is just a way of tell us something about your past. Tell us about the time that you went hiking to a medieval castle and slept in it overnight and how you slept through a sword fight. You know, this is the type of thing. And we'll sit and we'll talk about it. Five by five in the pipe. Um, so this is like, I will stream for an extra five minutes. And you, you could group this up, all of you. I like that it's five, five, five. Um, so it, it, we'll have six per stream, but this means we could get an extra half an hour out of each stream if people want to do it. Like if we're having a great stream, there's a lot of energy and you want it to go longer, throw in some points on that one. We'll go longer. Behind the scenes. So this is this is a, a big one. This is something for the far flung future. Um, but this is an overview of, and we'll probably drop it a little bit from that sort of amount, but I will give you an overview and we'll get to a point where we do a, a video overview of my streaming setup, okay? And we'll do it live. I'll literally, I'll record it as we go, okay? We've already, I kind of gave you one already. Joke. You give me a joke, I will read it out on air. I'm going to read it quietly to myself first to see if it's uh, appropriate or not. Drink. I will take a drink of whatever I'm drinking. Now, Pex wrote in there that if this is limited to the first glass. That's bullshit. GL, good question. And we will answer that in a moment. Love, I will tell you that I love you. And I will mean it. Social seek. Um, 
If you want me to post on someone's wall, and I can get to that person's wall, or Instagram, or whatever it is, throw in for that, and I will go over there, and I will write something genuine and nice on that person's wall. Background! Pex, I love the pictures you picked here, man. Um, give me the image that you want, and I will put it on my computer desktop. And you've already seen, I've got two monitors. I'll put it on both. And it will stay there, and I will take a photo to prove it. VIP. Get VIP status for the stream. It's actually a fairly simple one to do. That one. Hat. I will wear a silly hat for the next stream. Green screen. You give me a picture. It goes behind me for the entire of the next stream. That simple. That simple. So that's what they are. You can go to elissafaden.com forward slash cloudbot and review these at your pleasure. It will give you the points that you've got in the top uh, uh, right there. Don't forget, following, subscribing, gifting subs, participating with me on a raid, just hosting me. Go to your own channel, forward slash host, space, Alyssa Faden. Gives you big points. So these are all easily obtainable, even if you just lurk. If you do lurk, consider just popping into the chat to go hi, and then go back into lurking. You've now participated. You get more points for those five minutes. That's how it works. Hey, Cave Geek, you just missed so much talking. I just talked about my stream setup. I talked about my stream software. I mentioned you by name. And I've literally got just gone through my loyalty store, which includes Bean Boozled. Not gold. Don't do gold. The gold command is not working. Do exclamation points for now until we get it fixed. So, Pex, did you actually throw in for that reward? Alex Vixen, it's good to see you here. So uh, so today is going to be a little bit disjointed because we are talking about these rewards and everything. Talked about the stream setup to begin with, talked about the blue map, talked about the rewards. I knew it was going to be a little bit disjointed and I think that's okay because we're all now going to figure out the new software that we're working with here. Pex, did you give VIP status? Nice, nice. All right, so let me, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually now going to figure out the loyalty and in fact, it's the store and we've got my redemptions, no, history. Here we go. Okay, so GL actually, um, I'm going to actually bring this over here because this is to do with, uh, I was talking about the stream earlier on, right, the software I'm using. This is stream OBS. And this is the web version of it. We've got CloudBot enabled here. And this is what I see under the reward section. So we've got GL, get VIP status for the stream. Yes, of course you can have that, young man. And we've got Bean Boozled, the magnificent Pex. Eat a random jelly bean. Some of them are downright awful. So you know what? We're going to do that. So, I haven't yet got all of these split into different packages, okay? I'm going to actually get a glass jar, uh, a nice sealable glass jar, get it up on these nice shelves I've got above me, and then I can just reach into it anytime, shift it around, pull out a random bean. Now, I don't have that done yet, not going to get too much into it, but Pex, do you want me to pull randomly from the fiery five? So, guaranteed to be a hot one. Do you want me to... That's all bad. That, that's got to be a mix. Or do you want me to pull randomly from, let's say, the... I think these are the same. The naughty and nice. And I will pull randomly from one of these. Which one do you want? Hot? Guaranteed to be a level of hot? Or 50-50... It could be a peach, or it could be bath. 
But it's 50-50. Which would you like me to do? 50-50. 50-50. All right. This is the first one. And I don't think that they're labeled at all, by the way. But I'm not going to look. All right. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to actually prove to you that these are not labelled. I don't know if you can see this at all. Uh, there we go. There is no label on there. These things are just all loose, okay? It's completely random. Here we go. This is the first one. We are going to eat a bean boozled. I don't know why I'm shifting around like it's going to make a difference. I feel like I'm eating grass. It could be worse. It's grass or it's a sweaty sock. Not... Not brilliant. Not brilliant. That, um... I don't know what I just ate, but that was not particularly brilliant. Oh, there is a there is a spit of inside. So hold on. It, they, 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 because they're all just mixed in, they're not in little packets or anything. It's actually hard to get to the spinner. Hold on. There we go. So, the thing is, so you can get a Tutti Frutti, I like Tutti Frutti, or Stinky Socks, Coconut, or Spoiled Milk. By the way, the spinner doesn't work too well. Um, toasted Marshmallow, or a Stink Bug. Are you kidding me right now? Chocolate Pudding, or Canned Dog Food. Thank you, Tree Boar, for joining the Legions. Buttered Popcorn, or Rotten Egg. I definitely didn't eat a rotten egg. A juicy pear or a booger. I wonder what it was. Maybe I had toothpaste. Maybe that was toothpaste. Strawberry banana smoothie or a dead fish. Berry blue or toothpaste. Or birthday cake or dirty dish water. Or oh, there's peach or bath. Did I say the sticky socks? Yeah, I did. Maybe that was toothpaste. But toothpaste isn't too bad. I think I got away lightly. Because some of those sound nasty. Some of those sound absolutely disgusting. Hold on a minute. A Alex Fiction, how do you even know that? How do you know that? Fun fact, the vomit flavouring in bean boozled style beans was discovered when the taste scientist was attempting to make pizza. How do you even know that? You're like this font of all knowledge. Alright, so I'm not sure if I have to refresh that screen to see new requests coming in or what. But, okay, there's, there we go. Those are the rewards in the channel. I will... I promise you, I will get a nice glass jar for the beans and the candy. I kind of want... Actually, let me show you. Let me show you the other candy Pex bought. I'm not sure Pex really knew what he was buying. But do you see the volume of candy that he bought? This is the Japanese candy. This is the Mexican. That taste is still with me. That's not toothpaste. I don't know what I ate, but that is not toothpaste. I think the next time I pull out a bean, I'm going to look at the chart, and it'll be one or the other, and then we'll know which one I just ate. I don't know what that was. But it's still with me. That's pretty disgusting. So, yeah, Mexican candy. 
and Japanese candy. And some of the Japanese candy look like they're made out of prawns, which so I'm not looking forward to that. But we'll get all of these into a bowl. Pex, do you see? You went overboard, man. You're like a kid in a candy store. This is literally, right? Literally. Way too much candy. I'm going to put that behind me for now. All right, so this is what we've got. We've got lots of fun things. And seriously, it's okay, you know, just throw down your money. If you want to do a question time, remember we've got two bucks. Give me a random number. We've got 6,000 questions. Well, that's the one. I'd rather do that than eat another candy. And Trebor, it is good to see you here, my friend. It's good to see you. You're probably wondering what we've got on the screen here. These are the rewards. We'll actually, I think, uh, we're going to post about the rewards on the various social media channels. We'll let you know what they are. We'll let you know how to redeem them. Stick around, my friend. We don't normally sit here just staring at a website. I just ate a Bean Boozled. It's one of the rewards you can now redeem in the channel. I think it was sweaty socks. I think I ate a sweaty sock. And that was not a great flavor. All right. So that's it, folks. That's what you can now do. This is going to be part of the channel moving forwards. Now, I think we've been going for... How long we've been going? We've been going for like 50 minutes. Let's actually get into some mapping, shall we? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe... Oh, does the command wine still work? Does that still work? So, um, Pex, the sound effects and everything are not playing, so we'll have to investigate the uh, commands just to make sure we've got them all hooked up. All right, let's get into this. But, you know, in all seriousness, that's some funny shit. That is some funny shit. I, I don't think I've ever been so nervous in my entire freaking life. Oh, thank you. Yeah, see, the save command hasn't been... It wasn't playing this music either. So just, I just saved. And if you didn't join the stream early on, by the way, what happened is... I used to have a program called Chatbot. It sits on my computer and it was all configured for the sounds and the games and that type of thing. The same company behind it, Stream uh, Streamlabs, um, they have a cloud bot. Well, Pex is now helping me with all my social media, and that includes Twitch, and he's the one that sets up the games. Pex, thank you. You're angel. Um, so he's been setting up all of these games and everything. Problem is, he can't set up games. He can't set up rewards if he has no access to the software, which is sitting on my computer. So we, we literally had to go to cloud bot. And that means we've got to reconfigure some things. It will be much better in the long run for all of us. He will be out, he'll have access. I'll have access. He'll be able to set up some fun things for us to do. He'll be able to set up rewards and giveaways and things like that. I think we could even set it up where if you do buy something from Noble Dwarf, you'll get points back into the channel because of it. And that's the type of thing I want to do. Right? I want to make this an awesome experience for all of you. And giving Pex access to this through CloudBot is what's going to do it. So thank you, Pex. We all owe you very much for that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna dick about with a map. Remember when the channel used to be about mapping? I remembered actually there was a couple of things I wanted to do with the city, and one of them is actually putting our Mott and Bailey over here. And the other is, I actually want to pick up this temple and I want to throw it here. Then as I was looking at this earlier on, I actually want to get rid of this outside wall. This is meant to be a city, but not a fortified city. And I think both walls gives it a feeling of being fortified. So I want to get rid of this one here. This one I kind of like because it's on an even higher hill. So in an interior that's fortified, I'm down with. Um... And then we'll translate that over here when we actually do the city with fortifications. So a little bit of fortification here. 
but this is too much so that's what i'm going to do for the rest of the stream i'm going to delete this wall draw in this temple and add our little martin bailey thank you for being patient while we we're going through the changes in the stream by the way i really appreciate it By the way, um, what I'm looking at right now is, and this is for GL. GL, we were talking about software before because you asked about the stream setup. This is Streamlabs OBS, which uh, we went through. This is the chat. I want to actually pick up the chat and move it to the other side. It's like not, it, it, it's kind of like in the way over here, but I'll, I'll just have to do that another time. But that's how I can see what you guys are talking about. So let's 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 do some deleting. Let's do some nice low key deleting here. Uh, yeah, on this. Oh, I've locked it. Okay, well, let's unlock it. So tomorrow we'll be back, and we will we'll finish this map tomorrow or get darn close to it. It'll be back to normal tomorrow, in other words. That taste from that bean is still with me. I, I, I think I picked up a sweaty sock. I, I, I think I did. And Jack didn't come to my rescue with the wine. Did you notice that? Yeah, the Tunnel of inf <laughs> Infinity. You know, remember with software? You would do that with software in the past, and it would just explode. It would just explode. The first time I did that with Streamlabs, I honestly thought I was going to, like, create this, like, rift in time or something. But Streamlabs was like, no, I got it. Don't worry about it. I was actually kind of impressed. I was like, all right. It knows what it's doing. And um, by the way, GL, um, if you do decide that you want to explore streaming and you can see like from the software, you can actually do it for free and get going for free. And you don't need a camera. If you don't want to be in front of the camera, just make sure you got a mic. I, I want to say a half decent mic is maybe more important than anything else. Because there's nothing worse than speaking that sounded like you're in a tunnel or something. You know, put, it's the right put off to people. But if you do want to start streaming, I'm sure we'd all love to see what you're working on. We're all going to hang out. If you've got questions, I'm sure Cave Geek and I will answer them for you, okay? He answered my questions. I'm sure he'd do the same for you, and I would play it forward. Absolutely. Honestly, once you get the basics down, it, it, it's quite intuitive. It's just one of those you just got to figure out what the basics are. I think that's going to be better. I think that's going to be better. So into that space, I'm now going to grab from our town this. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I, I want that too. You're coming here. Come here.
Uh, type in VIP Green Luton as a mod. It, it's saying I don't have the permissions to do it. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, that might be a thing. VIP Green Luton. Unable to add VIP. Put that down as something for us to figure it out. Um, although Green Luton should be a VIP right now. Where, where's GL gone? There, where's my GL? There he is. Oh, GL, you have been on Twitch a long time. I didn't even know Twitch was back, uh, around back then. Then you've never been timed out or banned. Look at you. Yeah, I can't do it through the interface here. So we'll, we'll, we're going to have to look at that, GL. Actually, in the... Uh, okay, so let me actually, let me do it in the um, web interface real quick. Hold on. So... Yeah, let me try it in the web interface. So what have we got here? Is this my web interface? Here's, here's my web interface. All right, where's my GL? No, uh, in the web interface, right-clicking doesn't work. I'm not using chatbot now, remember. Um, now, in the Streamlabs Manager... No, right-clicking is not bringing up an option. Um, and left-clicking is bringing up a much bigger interface. Um... It's like, you know, it gives me how long he's been subbed for, how long he's been on Twitch, how long he's been following for. It allows me to whisper, add a friend, ban him, time him out. I might give you a timeout. Just a besmirch your name. Um, I, you know, number of messages and timeouts. It gives me no option for VIPing him. None. So yeah, that's, and I, I got the unable to add VIP when I did that. So we're definitely going to have to investigate that. You know, it could become a running joke. GL comes into the channel. Time out. No, people are going to be investigating you on other channels. Like, like, click your name. God damn, this man's had 900 timeouts. Oh, he's a troublemaker. Oh, I'm, I'm using that old, uh, that different bush. I, I actually discovered a whole bunch of bushes. Look at this. In fact, let me get my window bush over here. Um, look how many bushes I discovered the other day. Look at these. And they're all freaking fantastic. We're going to be using some of these uh, when we do colouring. I've already got my eyes on like the clouds. There's a watercolour brush in here that's to die for. Tree board. These are the ones I shared with you. Um, there's so many good brushes. And it was, a, it was a YouTuber. And it was like, these are the brushes I use. But there's a link. Download them. And it's like, man, these are great brushes. Look at this. Look at this, by the way. Look, 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 look how freaking brilliant this is. Oh, if I actually get that out of the way. Look at that. Look at that. That's a spiked chain. He's got this one too. The number of times that I have been drawing chains. Remember, remember, um, Teagle? The chains that I were drawing in the bloody torture room? Now... Done. Done. There, there were some such, such, such good ones. That's a scale one. It's called scales. Fantastic, fantastic ones in here. Um, too many for me to go, go through just individually. But just such good such good brushes i'm probably gonna have to resort them a little bit but i mean he has got all of these little sort of sections 
Like, he's even got hair and strand and stubble and pubes. Um, he's got a lot of stuff in here. Like, look at this water one. I'm getting distracted, but... Imagine this in an appropriate colouring. Those are those water ones right there. Th this one I like. Look at that. It's, it's They're freaking beautiful. So I was playing with these before, which is why I was using the wrong brush just. They're, they're so good. They're so good. GL. Well, hold on a minute. Did he? Did he? Did he? I'm going to refresh my screen here. You bloody did, too. So, um, Pex, I'm not hearing any sounds coming from these. We did a test before, and I did hear sounds. So, we definitely have a sound issue. Um... This is what it looks like for my admin interface. Interesting to know that I have to refresh the admin interface, by the way. Um, but okay, I will eat another bean, you asshole. Um, naughty or nice, or the spicy ones, or the hot ones, I should say. So it's five rages of hot, or 50-50. Which one do you want me to do? Drinking water in advance. That's what I get for not having your icon ready in bloody deed. Alright, tell me what you want to do, my friend. Okay, so the ones we have open right now, we have 50-50. It could be nice. It could be really bad. Or, there's the spicy ones, and the spicy ones go all the way up to, like, a scorcher. So, the spicy, I'm guaranteed to be eating something hot. Or, there's 50-50. Ring, oh, ring of fire. Okay, extremely hot, this one is called. These are all going to get mixed into one bowl eventually, by the way. So, you won't have to pick the type from now on. And there will actually be more bad ones than 50-50. Because Pex also bought just a box of bad ones. That's the first thing. And then, of course, we've got the hot ones. So you mix the hot ones and the guaranteed bad in with everything else. We're probably looking at 75. It's going to be bad. 75%. Okay. So I'm going to pull out this randomly, by the way. But just to let you know what the spice levels are. We have jalapeno. I like jalapenos. Sriracha. I can handle sriracha. Cayenne. Okay. Oh, that's like red on red here. Habanero. That's probably going to start getting a little bit hot. And Carolina Reaper. Those are the choices from what I'm going to do. You know what? No, I don't want to. I don't want to be hand picking one out. I'm going to. I am going to randomly. They're not marked or anything. I'm just going to shift it around in here. Reaper is really hot. Okay, well, tree born. Let's hope I don't pull out a freaking Reaper. Because <laughs> you guys are going to know it. On chat, I don't know what this is, okay? Whatever that colour is, I don't know. So. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh, that has to be a habanero. Maybe we pair. How can a jelly bean be spicy? That makes no freaking sense. And the hiccups have started. Okay, yeah, I've got hiccups now. Okay. 
I hope that was a reaper, because if there's one hotter than that... Oh. That's, that's going to clear the sinuses. I do have some milk. And by the way, Marlin's girl, props to you for knowing that milk is, is the one to go for. I might actually go get some. Sweet Boy says she's still talking. Wasn't a reaper. I'm inclined to agree. Which means it must have been the habanero. Which means... I'm actually sweating, though. I mean, I'm literally sweating. <sighs> okay. This is this is the way this channel's going to go now, huh? Just watch me map and eat jelly beans. That, um... That has coated my mouth. That has definitely coated my mouth. There's definitely some spice going on in there. Yeah, that's like eating a spice of wing for sure. Wow. With, with none of the pleasure of like eating a hot curry or anything. Tongue is a tingling. Uh, no, I don't want a shot of Frank's Red Hot. No, thank you. But I would like a drink of some description. Oh, thank you, Jack. I'm actually hot. My whole body's getting hot. <coughs> Um, yeah, give me a little bit. Give me a little bit of that in a glass. That, that would be good. I mean, it's fine. It is, I am fine. But yeah, if the Reaper is yet to come, you're probably going to see um, a grown woman, like, die on Twitch. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, if you guys are getting a little bit of fun out of it, hopefully it gives you something fun and engaging to spend your channel currency on. I'm down with it if you're down with it. And hopefully we can just all get a hoot out of it. And you, you, you just, you know. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thank Pex again for making this happen and setting it up. And we'll have fun. We'll get the, we'll get the currency sort of dialed in. So when you're actually doing the rewards, it's playing, you know, um, music. Pex actually did set up music for all of these, and obviously we had music for all of, uh, you know, the other stuff. But there's been some kind of disconnect between the uh, cloud bot and the channel. We'll fix that. I thank you for your patience in the interim. What does a disclaimer say in the bag? Take our tour, product guarantee, manufactured, ingredients. Yeah, they actually have Carolina Reaper pepper puree in this. They have the genuine shit in here. Wow, okay. Challenge your foes, thank you, Jack. Warning extremely hot. How hot can you handle? I don't see any disclaimer on here oh wait consume at your own risk keep out of reach of children under the age of 13 the elderly and pets yeah makes sense do not consume if you are allergic or sensitive to hot and spicy foods peppers capacitin pregnant breastfeeding or have a medical condition for which consumption of an extremely hot food would cause an adverse reaction. I'm not taking a hot sauce. Due to the hot nature of this food, it may trigger asthma symptoms. Holy shit. Do not give to persons except with their permission. Uh-huh. And only after sharing this warning. 
there's your disclaimer. My glasses are fogging up. There's the first. Hello. Marlin's girl, thank you very much for this suggestion. Um, I happen to have some milk in there, so I'm actually going to drink it. That wasn't a Carolina, so that must have been a habanero or something that I just had there. So not too bad, apparently it gets a lot freaking worse. So Treeball, sounds like you have experience with the Carolina Reapers. I don't. Would you like to tell us about them? So I actually have a story about me and spicy food, which, I, which I'm actually going to share, uh, even though um, this isn't a story sharing moment. But so I, there is a local place here in Portland called Salvador Marlas, and they do a um, a spicy cheese ball or something like that. And they have um, a a hotness there but if you can eat like five of these spicy cheese balls whatever they are they will put your picture on the wall it's one of those it's a challenge you know you eat for free and your pictures on the wall and I used to really really like spicy food like I, I could handle it pretty damn hot so I was down and I went down for like five of these spicy balls and uh the first was okay. It was a little bit like eating that habanero thing. It wasn't too bad. The second started to hurt. The third was killing me. By the time I ate the fifth one, I was I was done. I needed to leave. I needed to get out of the building. Like, fast. Now. And we were meant to be going off watching a film or something. So, uh... I got out. I got out the building. But now I was in so much distress, my photo actually never got on the wall. That's part of the story. The other part of the story is it was so freaking hot. It was so bad that I genuinely thought I was going to die. I went to the cinema, couldn't watch the film, and was in so much distress. Standing up, hurt. Lying down, hurt. Sitting hurt. Doing anything hurt. I think if you were literally going to die from being stabbed in the gut, that's the type of pain I was going through. It was, I, I, and I, I couldn't throw up. I couldn't do anything. It's just like it paralyzed me with utter, complete pain. And ever since then, I can't really handle spicy foods anymore. It's like my body is like, nope, we're done. It kind of, it like broke something inside me. My mouth still likes it, but nothing else about my body can handle it now. <laughs> Treeboard says, Carolina Reaper, now famously known as the world's hottest chili pepper. Oh shit, really? Averages 1.5 million SHU on the Schofield scale. Okay, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's ridiculous. Pex, I hate you, man. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, no, that's that's just not gonna work. With levels that even peak over 2.2 million. In other words, it's a pepper that is 100 times hotter than the jalapeno. The Carolina Reaper, which is a hybrid of the chili pepper, is apart from the Capsium ch uh, ch chin and these species. By its creator, Ed Curie, owner and runner of the Pucker Butt Pepper 
company. Pocketbot. <sighs> oh, I shouldn't have sniffed. Yeah, that 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 brought the hotness back. All right. All right. Well, I can see what we're into. So um, I've added um, the temple. I said I wanted to do that. That's beautiful right there. I've added like a little Martin Bailey up there. We're going to draw the Martin Bailey proper right here. Um, I kind of want to do something in this corner right here. Let's do this. I actually kind of want to reimagine this corner like it's uh, grown a little bit. Well, I think I think the sad part of this is tree bore. Is I think there is a certain inevitability to me eventually getting the Reaper. Now, if I have the Reaper and it literally ends the stream, we might pull the rest of them out. But I'll I'll do it once, okay? I will do it once. I've never really tree ball sort of described myself or never would normally describe myself as adventurous because I think I certainly have my limits and they come in pretty quickly but um I'm game for a laugh you know I'm game for a laugh Alright, that, that feels a little bit better on that side. Um, I didn't actually finish here. So we may have to do this tomorrow. We draw some of those. Yeah. Uh, why did I? Oh, because I demolished the wall. That's what it is. We demolished the wall at the beginning of the stream. All right, so we will definitely have to take a look at that. No, we didn't demolish the wall here. We demolished the wall over here. Huh. So yeah, we gotta we gotta finish this hill. You know, I'm actually tempted. I'm actually tempted. I was tempted to remove that hill, but no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep that hill there. We're just, we gotta redraw that south side. It's bugging me. So I'm gonna do it right now. You know, tree ball is, is, is adding so much of an ominous shadow to this um, 
Reaper that I, I think I'm actually genuinely getting scared. Mm. Actually, I think I think let's do this. I think let's do this. There we go. Something more like that. And the same on the other side, I think. So just trying to do a little bit of a reimagining of this section just by my modern eyes. As a time check, we've been going for pretty much an hour and a half, but I'm just gonna gonna go a little bit longer here just to get this elevation in. And where do I oh this this then has to turn a corner here. There we go. And then we'll just pull it out into this hill here. There we go. That looks better. That looks better. More contained. Now, what was bugging me is here. The edge ended too abruptly. I feel like we, what we should be doing is just petering out, right? They would have like a little road coming out over here. But what this is going to mean, by the way, is basically we are going to be picking up on this tomorrow. And we will be taking a deep look at the farms in the area. That's going to be our main focus for tomorrow. But once we've got the farms, this, this particular map will also be done. There we go. Let's, let's do a tree here. Right in the conjunction of roads. And print size is about that, by the way. So that looks pretty good, I think. That looks pretty good. Like when you zoom in, you start seeing the imperfections, but that's the print size. It will actually, poster size wouldn't even be bigger than that. Because the whole poster is going to be this whole thing right here. So I think we're, um, I think that's looking pretty good. I, I am going to just, I think peter out the buildings here into this gap a little bit along the side of this road a little bit and maybe along here a tad yeah The lagoon needs a wizard's tower. I do like the highlighter uh, message ability. I really do. Uh, we might need to just keep the uh, Twitch currency going just for that type of thing. All right, L let me let me put that in here for the wizard's tower. What is it about Reaper videos? What? Oh, Reaper, the, the, the Carolina Reaper. I, my brain went to Reaper miniatures. It's like, how bad could Reaper miniatures videos be? What the hell are those guys doing? Alex, Alex Fixon, got it. Got it. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Will do. Will do. Yeah, I'm not sure I would have even thought about that until it was too late. And then, then I would have started thinking about it. Would have, oh shit, yeah. Damn. That is a very obvious and yet very easily overlooked point. Right. Just 
doing a bit of clean up here on these. There we go. The street just feels a little bit more even. By the way, the, the origin, if you don't know this, the origin behind this map is 25 years ago when I drew this one originally. And now we're going to clean this up a little bit. We're going to tidy it up. We're going to redraw some sections as according to me 25 years later. In fact, it might even be older than 25 years, but it's an old map that I did, ink on paper originally, which is why if I zoom in, you can see those imperfections, ink on paper, scanned in. Um, but fortunately, we're going to be at this sort of scale, so it's fine, you can't see them. I'm taking sections of this map for our town over here. And it will be, or I should say the city, and the city with fortifications. So they basically end up growing into this metropolis over here. Um, you can even see where I've got a little bit of writing on that one. So that, that's what we're doing. So, But I'm kind of modernising certain sections because I draw differently now. I think about maps a little bit differently. And so where I see things that are like offending me, and this is a prime example, this thing hanging out there in a weird angle. I'm just going to get rid of them. And we're, we're going to redraw things. Let's do a little bit here before we end the stream. <laughs> yeah, Alex Fiction, I don't think I've ever witnessed anything like that, but I that makes me wince. That could not have been a good experience, like, at all. That's kind of messed up. And you're right, I mean, just because these are candies doesn't mean that something's not going to leak out. I mean, they literally have pepper puree in them. So you're right. like that something like that the bigger buildings are obviously our temples and such this one here i'm probably gonna let it roll maybe it's some kind of administrative building here did have a fountain in the center i'm gonna make that fountain a little bit bigger this time like it's been expanded upon and a little bit more grandiose Everything in the city to feel a little bit like it, it's just got bumped up a touch. Things have been knocked down. Things have been rebuilt. I think, I think that is a good place to end this. I'm very tempted to grab our farms and transport them across and then fill in the rest of the blanks. I'm tempted, but I don't know. We may just sort of just redo the farms altogether. We'll see. 
But I think I think this is the direction that we're pointing in here. So I think this is a good point for us to end the stream. I, I want to thank all of you, by the way, just for your patience while we covered some of the basics. I don't think we could completely gut the uh, uh, reward system, um, introduce potential bugs and not address it at the beginning of the stream. So thank you for being patient while we went through that and for your humor and good nature when we actually then started eating jelly beans, etc. afterwards. The effort is to not have these little games, by the way, become a distraction. I don't want to be sitting here just reading out answers to questions all night long or eating jelly beans all night long. That's not the intent. The intent is to interject a little bit of humor here and there, give you something to spend your money on, but that's all. If we ever feel that things are going to get a little bit too disruptive to me drawing maps and the channel is about me drawing maps, we will throttle back on some of the actual rewards and games and things like that. So be patient, but also give us your feedback. If you like something, let us know. If you don't like something, also let us know. Pex and I are here to absolutely hear about it, okay? Before we end the stream, I do want to say that a, a, a quick thank you to all of my patrons and Twitch subscribers many of which are here tonight so thank you i really mean it by the way um we're gonna really work hard on giving back to you every single month and throughout the month all sorts of different rewards all sorts of little things we just and we keep wanting to make them better and better and better okay so i appreciate your support it inspires me we're just going to keep forging on so all of you the train supporters, all of you Twitch subscribers, much love to all of you. I'm going to be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is Thursday, Friday Eve in my head. We're going to be working on the Castle Keeper's Guide. I'm going to shoot hard to try and finish that town map. Or I guess it's a city map, right? And then we're going to move on and to the Mott and Bailey, I think. So until then, thank you for hanging out with me tonight. I love you all. You're wonderful people. I'll see you tomorrow night, right? And we're going to get into mapping this time, hardcore. Until then, everyone have a great evening. I'll see you on the flip side. Yeah, I've got you.